Well, first of all, thank you very much for your time. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to know, how was your reaction? What did you first um, feel when you read the script? Um, I liked it immediately because the, the I just kept thinking of um, the Glenn Close character in Fatal Attraction. <laughs> and, you know, I always, that was always on my bucket list to play a character like that. So I was immediately attracted to the script. And I just didn't know, um, I thought Tyler wanted to film it during my hiatus. I didn't know he wanted to film it while I was still pl um, playing Cookie. Mm -hmm. So that was a challenge. But um, he promised me that we could get it in the can, the entire movie, in eight days. And we did. Mm -hmm. And um, our part of the movie, where we come in as the adult characters, we put that in the can in five days. That's very impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. of time to finish all of this because it's a big project. Mm -hmm. How was it for you that uh, this, uh, the, I read the script um, when I um, when I could squeeze it in between because I was working as well, and so uh, it, it was it was a real quick read. And then I, I remember stopping for a minute, and I was like, "Wow, okay, this is pretty intense. This is not very Tyler esque. I think I like this." Um, I had no idea Taraji was a part of the project, so when I found out, I was like, man, did I make a good choice, because <laughs> I had a great opportunity and chance to work with, uh, with Taraji, so it was just an overall proper project to do. There is a very intense in the description of these characters. We know how they are and what has made them the people that they are, but at the same time, there is something very attractive in the movie that I perceive, and is that... Sometimes the realities are completely different from mm -hmm. what we perceive or believe. Yeah. And that for a performer, I'm sure that that is quite a challenge. Please tell me about that part. Well, um, for Melinda, it was, you know, she was hurt. She was a woman scorned and hurt people hurt people. So I was just dealing with her pain. And because she was so in her head about him not living up to the dreams, and she expected so much. And sometimes when you expect so much, um, you limit yourself. Yeah. You limit yourself because you're expecting to be done by a certain time. You're just putting mm -hmm. too many expectations yeah. on life, and sometimes life throws curveballs at you. What happened? Mm -hmm. It just took him time to make his dream come true. But to her, her perception, the way she perceived it, he was um, tricking her. He was up to something. He was stealing from her. He used her. And there was and other that, voices in her ear. Yeah. Too, you, know? you know, her sisters didn't help. Yeah. <laughs> My last question has to be about what we're living now in Hollywood and mm -hmm. in every industry. Mm -hmm. There's a sentence that she says <clears throat> that caught my attention is when she talks about the way a woman, a black woman, is perceived when she says certain things. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's very important that we include this in films. What do you think about that part? Um, yeah, I was, I was very attracted to that line because um, it's almost as if if you're a black woman, you can't, you're not allowed to show emotions, to mm -hmm. get upset. Um, um, why is there a term called angry black, black woman? We have a right to be angry. A lot has happened to us over the centuries. <laughs> so um, I don't think it's anger. I think it's passion. It's passion, you know, and I'm never going to deny myself that. Call it what you will, but, you know, I have a right to my feelings. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.